So, yet another Z shell guide on YouTube. It will be very fast, and it is mostly for new Linux users, because this is where you should start. Default bash sucks, and I'm not sure what Linux distros are doing with that, when even Mac OS has been moved to Z shell by default. Anyway, the good news is that it is pretty fast to set up a cool shell, so let's getting started. First off, we need to install it. In Fedora's case sudo dnf install zsh. I already have it installed, so next move is to install my Z shell, that is a plugin and configuration mechanism, and one of the most starred projects in GitHub. We only need to copy this command, and paste it on terminal. That will install my Z shell, and it will also auto update it periodically, so you will always have everything up to date without extra effort. It will also ask you to make Z shell the default shell, but because I had run it before it skipped it. In any case, I will do that now. So, change shell, hyphen s, and the path, bin, zsh. And by the way this is how you can revert back to bash 2, just instead of zsh, you type bin slash bash. Next I'm going to install power level 10k, that is a prompt theme for Z shell and a fork of power level 9k, but better, because it is 1k up. Same as oh my Z shell we did before, we only need to copy one command line, and paste it on terminal. Next we need to open the zshrc file, and replace the default oh my Z shell theme with the power level 10k. The Robbie Russell theme, named after the creator of oh my Z shell, by the creator of oh my Z shell. Not ego at all. Note that we type power level 10k, and then slash and power level 10k again. It has to do with directory structure. Next I'm opening a new session to see power level 10k in action, and the thing is that there is a step by step guide to customize our prompts. For now I won't get bothered with that, I will just pick something completely in random, so we can move forward to wildcards. After I set this awful theme, I will show you an awful issue with Z shell, very typical when we start with it. So, Z shell will complain about the wild card in the end of the kernel. One way is to include such strings inside double quotes, like that. And now it will work, but this is so terribly slow thing to do. Another way is to open the zshrc file again and unset the nomatch zsh global option. I will place that somewhere in the end of the file. So, unset opt. Nomatch. That says if you don't match something, then continue without throwing an error. Technically this isn't the best idea ever, but because it's what bash does, and there is strong familiarity, you may want to use it. So, if we run DNF again like previously, this time it will work as it was used to be in bash. Sakura-san <laughs> 